For this video, I am going to be putting Emerald to AI to the test with an underwater shot, a shot of a moving horse, shot of a moving turtle, shot of a moving car that gets hidden underneath trees, and then a shot of a couple running through the forest while holding hands. Let's begin with the first clip. So go over to your effects, click on Emerald to AI. You can switch between being able to just drag a line to your selected item or going over to here where you can move the brush size and also just draw this line right here get the rest of the fin let's see how it handles two at the same time let's go tracker and click forward in the last test that i did i had some questions asking how long it took to render it out so in this video i'm including a time code to show how long it took so far it's doing fantastic even with all the moving particles it's not blocking it i also had the setting put to i believe fast instead of accurate and so it's doing a really good job especially on the fast setting all right there we go so you can see the precision was on fast let's now go to masked video wow here's full screen the cool thing with this is you can also grab a background to hope to see any errors in the masking. Let's actually go ahead and see what happens if we try to mask the rest of these. Wow, as you can see, as this one over here is moving and getting bigger, it is still able to follow it instead of losing track since when I first drew the mask, I didn't see the full size. There's only, looks like a couple errors right there, but again, like click a couple buttons and it does it all by itself. Go back to merge. You can simply just redraw whatever you need. Go back tracker, forward, and there you go. You now have the fin being included in the rest of it. Here's a moving horse, and it looks like the feet get covered. So let's just draw the line. So it looks like there's just tiny little parts that it misses. It looks like it's blending fantastic as the horse moves its legs through the grass. This part's interesting because the other horse goes behind this horse. Let's see if it's able to tell the difference between the two or if it mixes the two horses together. Okay, so it looks like it kind of loses part of the tail once the other horse gets behind it. That was on fast precision. All right, so here's the video. Let's see how it does with the second horse. I have to zoom in a lot to get to the other horse, so it'd be very interesting to see how it does. Yeah, it looks like too it blends in with the ground a little bit here and there so this will probably be a little bit better using a brush to help the ai to see the lines the thing is you basically just have to do this once and then it is aware of what it is masking wow it's doing really good remember i had to zoom in at 400 percent to even be able to see the horse and <laughs> it's tracking it as it runs through the grass. Now it'll be interesting to see how it does when it gets behind the other horse. Looks like it has a little bit hard time to keep the mask right during this part as they both collide. Remember, this is also on fast, so it's trying to go faster instead of being more accurate. So now we can go back to where the head disappears and just simply draw it back in and now go back to tracker move forward there we go now its head is being masked again so yeah this emeralto ai is incredible definitely is very fast all right so moving on to the next clip we have a turtle underwater very interesting to see how it does with things underwater and particles and it looks like it just took one line to get the turtle wow it looks like it's literally getting it all on the first try go to mast video so there we go that was a first try all right so now on this one we're going to go from fast to accurate let's see how it handles the car going uh, underneath the trees let's do one line tracker forward just a couple of clicks and we already have the mask going it's able to go underneath the tree and it doesn't mask the tree at all that's incredible it looks like it's having a little bit of problem i guess go back in and mask that part again so it seems like having an accurate it definitely slows it down a good amount but that makes sense since it's trying to make sure the mask is more accurate looks like the car's masked out really good the only part it had a little bit of struggle was at the very beginning i can go back in here grab the brush and just help out the emerald to ai by filling in the mask 
at only one frame. Let's see how it handles when I track it forward from here. There we go, that's so cool. So once you get it to the spot that you need it to, you can hit stop and now it has a spot filled in. The last clip is the couple running through the forest. So on this one, I'm going to also do accurate. Let's see what happens if I connect them both in just one line. That's really cool. So I don't see anything missing except for right here. So I just go to the brush size eraser, simply erase the extra mask, and then right here, try to erase this mask to see how it does. It looks like it's also doing a great job with her hair. As her hair flows around, it's able to keep it masked. Right now it's finished. As you can see, it literally had no problem. Masked video. So Emeralto AI is absolutely incredible. Click here to see another test that I did with Emeralto AI. That's it for this video. Please consider commenting, liking, and subscribing as it will help this channel to grow. And thank you so much for watching.